guys welcome back to choose your own path so today we're doing a cutfish all right so we got a catfish going out and i told you guys i was going to use the new Ryobi machine and i'm using it now again won't tell anybody but i didn't hook up the vacuum but you know what i don't seem i thought this thing would have just really made a mess and sawed us everywhere Check this out. Let's see how loud it is. And check out the dust. That's without the fan on. Let me bring you up here. You can see that. And that's taking out quite a bit of um, wood. It's keeping it pretty low. And again, this is cedar, treated cedar. So not bad for what it's doing. Not bad at all. Okay. So we're working on this catfish. Uh, this catfish has a... This catfish, it looks like that. So he's got a hump right there. So we're gonna bring that down. Tail's gotta go in quite a bit, pretty thick. And then we gotta bring down tail end because that's where obviously the fin is so very simple all I'm gonna do just enough I'm not pushing too hard because I don't want to stall the motor that brings it out pretty big so that's a game changer guys that, that's you know for shaping um, shaping out the fish and all that that's that that's definitely a game changer I mean I could sit there with my cut saws and everything and go and go and go it takes a little bit longer plus you gotta really slow down and do what you're doing this thing i'm just letting it letting the sandpaper go um already starting to get gummed up so uh like i said i have to order in a piece for that so i'm gonna keep on going with this i'll show you as it progresses okay, so we're working on the catfish it's a little tiny little catfish we're gonna call him a bullhead <laughs> So I just put some gesso on it, and I wanted to show you guys what I'm using. This is just a, it's it's called acrylic gesso, and I bought this at Walmart. I think it was like ten bucks plus tax or whatever, and uh, it goes on pretty thick. You can water it down, but I'm okay with it like that because what I do is I put a nice lower layer on it and let it sit for the whatever. It's going to bed because it's already late, um, and I'll sand it down after, and then from there we'll start doing our paint to it. So that's going to be our next one. Also, my next one job or project is I want to try to make a lure. Now, this is an old lure. You can see it's all busted up. It's been cracked in the back, cracked in the back. There's the hooks. I'm gonna make probably gonna use just the plastic lip on this because why? You know why not? It's there, and the hooks. And I want to see how they put these hooks. So I'll be cutting this guy open soon. But I'm gonna first get out the uh, piece of wood that I'm gonna use. It doesn't have to be, you know, any kind of exotic wood. You could use anything. As long as it's got the proper uh, look and the uh, weight to it. But anyway, this is not what we're doing on this one. We're working on this guy. So here's the catfish. You see the big eyes on him. Get to the colors. So I'll be back. Right, guys, we're going to start off by painting our catfish. Um, I found a new trick that uh, if you use isopropyl alcohol before, it really makes a big difference. So you just kind of clean out your brush. So we got some Createx uh, transparent water base and it's a brown. What I want to do is I mark the line on the top, not not the ladder line, just literally just a normal line. And I just want to layer the top of all that line. Our fish is going to have a brown, green, and a yellow look, and a white of course, obviously, to it. Leave it at the bottom here too. Now this is our catfish is more of a um, how would you say it? a bullhead. This is a smaller one. It's not a very big, cat, big fish. Maybe just a catfish itself if you want. And we're actually going to let this dry a little bit longer in the paint lines. Now we're doing both sides, but this side obviously the, this is the side that you're going to see. The other side is going to be attached to something. Um, I'm not saying that you shouldn't. You know, properly paint your fish on the other side, but it's just not as seen as much. So you don't—I don't know. 
maybe you don't have to go so crazy with it. Unless somebody's really wanting to look at the other side, but it will be hidden pretty well with, with what we're going to cover here. Now, with wood, you want to make sure that you turn it. You get all the little angles in there. Because if not, you, you'll see the difference. I've said that before. All right. So there's our brown start. Uh, quick clean. Get to the next color. We switched over to our yellow. And again, we do a little line. So the belly, we don't want to have any yellow to it. Just gonna lightly spray this on here. It might look a little dark, but that's okay because we will add green to it after. We're just adding a little bit of yellow to the fin. Just a bit. We're just giving a hint of yellow on the brown also. The brown and the yellow will give it more of a green tinge too, so which is which is nice. And we don't go too strong. As I still have some paint inside here, I'm just going to do a mix of brown and yellow. I'm also going to add some green. And that's going to give us some sort of like olive green to it. So we'll start off by just lightly misting on our yellow. Now, it may look bright on camera, but it's kind of, it's getting to those tones of more like greeny tone. You can kind of see the look of it. Now this is going to give it more of a, a really dark black green. And you can see the black, it's a blackish green. And what I'm going to do with this is I'm just going to go into where the ribs are. I'm just trying to do a little bit of shadowing. So nothing thick. If you pull on your, your if you pull on your pen too hard, your gun, you're gonna get really thick lines. That's a lot of muscle in there. Also, I'm just gonna clean up the eye here really quick. Now you can see I messed up there by going too hard, but that's okay. I'm gonna quickly go over that off. There. So now, I'm gonna let this dry for a bit. I'll be right back. All right, guys, this is my new hat. I always love new hats, especially if they're fishing ones. So here we go. I'm it's hanging up to dry, so I don't know how well you can see that. I added it uh, a little bit of stain to uh, the piece of wood. Let's see if I can get a picture. Let me just turn. Here we it. go. This is what it is. It's our catfish. Can't really see his whisker, but it's there. And his big mouth. <laughs> It's a little, it's a little fish. Um, we call them bullheads. You can see the yellow and the green in there. So yeah, this one's going out to a buddy in Texas. I promised him I'd make him something, and that's what it is. So I hope you guys, uh, you know, I didn't show you too much of the process, but you know, it is what it is. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, like, subscribe, and share. Always, you know, could use more people. And uh, if I could do it, you could do it. Choose your own path. See you on the next one.